Good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk with Heidi Gamel. If you're new here, my name is Heidi Gamel, and I am the author of the Nest Pretty Lifestyle Guide. Nest Pretty is about making small choices every day that add up to a beautiful life. And it's such a fun thing to think about every day, how you can make small choices to improve, <laughs> to get better. I love to come here on Fridays because I can and have a second cup of coffee with you. And I want to share with you something that's been on my mind. I've been learning a lot about this and this is called a uh, mental or cognitive dissidence. I've been hearing a lot about that and I was like, eh, what is that? <laughs> Recently, I've experienced it and it's so interesting. So cognitive dissidence is when you maybe say one thing and do another. And then you feel um, unease. Some maybe describe it as anxiety or just a general discomfort. Because it's our brain saying, uh, you're saying that, but you're not doing that. We don't believe that, so let's not feel good about this. <laughs> and where I recently felt this is amazing because I decided to commit to a goal, a pretty big one, and my brain had a fit, almost like I had a cold, not a cold, but like exhaustion, like I didn't even want to get out of bed, and it was having a real fit. <laughs> it's interesting because I talk a, a little bit in my online course, How to Elevate Your Self-Care Beauty Routine. A lot of it is, um, kind of your mindset about yourself and self-love and self self-worthiness like module one you start off right away um, by saying I am worthy of my own love and that may create <laughs> some cognitive dissonance where your brain's like mm, prove it prove it Prove it. <laughs> and here's the thing. Cognitive dissonance, which may present as uneasiness or anxiety or just dis-ease, um, is really just a feeling. And a feeling is just a, a frequency going through your body. And they say it lasts like 90 seconds. So you have two choices. You could sit with it, feel it, and just let it go. Let it just ride the wave and say, I hear you brain, that's, that's fine, I hear you, but we're gonna do it anyway. Or you can change your mind. <laughs> so those are like really two amazing, powerful tools that we have in our back pocket that we can use at any time. Sit with it or change your mind. And you may say, I don't wanna change my mind about it. So then you can just sit with it and write it and then do it anyway. So uh, another example is like if you say, I love exercising <laughs> and you're not there yet, your brain might have a fit every morning at 5 a.m. when you have your alarm set to exercise. <clears throat> so you, feel the dis-ease, you feel the discomfort, perhaps the anxiety, and you get up and do it anyway. Or you could work on your mind and say, oh, I do love exercising. <laughs> I personally love exercising after exercising, <laughs> not before. <laughs> so there's that. 
I just wanted to share that with you because it's so interesting. You hear these things and you hear these concepts and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever felt that way. And then you feel it and you're like, oh, oh, oh wow. And really just having the awareness of that's what it is. That's human. That's normal. You're not weird. There's nothing wrong with you. And do it anyway. It's really powerful. It's really powerful. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit that I learned recently. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And thank you for joining me for a second cup of coffee. And P.S. You are worthy of your own love. And uh, amazing self-care routine and you want if you want to learn more the link is in the bio have a great day